Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, you see the title, there's really no beating around the bush here. I am becoming a real estate agent. For the last three years, I have been absolutely obsessed with housing. I am on real estate websites every day looking at the new listings that come on. And I used to just do it for fun. And then it turned into me being able to afford a house and going through the home buying process myself. I am starting to look into buying a condo in Seattle. After going through the process, I realized how complicated buying a house is, how stressful it is, and how emotional it can be. And this new appreciation that I found made me realize that's what I want to do with my life. I want to help people get into their dream home as well. I'm not gonna quit YouTube, don't worry. But I did take the last month off of YouTube to explore this new avenue of becoming a real estate agent and today I want to share that with you. All right, first things first, if I want to be able to sell homes, I have to get my real estate license, which means passing the real estate exam. But when you do your real estate license, you have to do 90 hours of this like course and you can either do it in person or online, but because of COVID, you have to do it online. It's going to get started with it right now. Guys, I haven't studied for something in, I'm 25. Last time I studied for something, I was 18. So it's been seven years. Just bought the course and here you can actually see it. Literally, it clocks your hours. 60 hours there, 30 hours there. And then that's just to help you. So let's do it. I'm not gonna lie. The idea of taking an exam is something that intimidated me and stopped me at first from wanting to pursue real estate just because growing up, I wasn't a good test taker. But as an adult studying, I've been really enjoying what I'm learning about as it really applies to real life, unlike school sometimes. So the day this video goes live, this is where I'm at in my coursework. I have logged 60 hours of studying in a month's time and I'm 83% done with the quizzes. And I'm hoping to take the exam at the end of October or very beginning of November. I would not be sitting here today so excited to tell you that I am joining the real estate world if it weren't for my real estate agent that helped me buy my house. So when I decided, you know, I think this is what I want to do, what better person to talk to than Cyrus? Hey! Hey, Monica. How's it going? Hey, it's Oliver. It's good. <laughs> I'm not only a homeowner now, I'm a dog owner. <laughs> That's right. My name is Cyrus Fien, and I'm a real estate agent here in Seattle. I've been doing this for about six years and I've managed to make it into the top 1% for Cobalt Banker International. Can you believe it? it's been a year? It's crazy. And Come you've on done a, a lot, you've made a lot of changes. I've almost decided I wanted to become an interior designer, but... I know, this is very Monica style. Yeah, it's been like the most rewarding feeling, owning a house. And now a year later, I actually have been considering getting into real estate. And so I kind of wanted to ask you today what it takes, because all I see is, you know, the stuff on TV or like right. getting your keys and all the fun stuff. And I really don't know what I don't know. I think you'd be really good at it, actually. You're an entrepreneur, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what it takes. It's, it's running your own business. So what are the chances you would let me like shadow you for a day and kind of learn about what it's like to be a real estate agent? I would say 100%. Okay. <laughs> That house. This one? Yeah. Isn't it cool? Oh, yeah. It's tight. It's amazing. Oh, I love it. Wow. You know, I like the green. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Would you call this like craftsman style? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So through the trees right there, Monica, you're going to see Alki Beach and West Seattle. Mm -hmm. And how often do you go there? Maybe once a year. Oh my gosh. Like never. <laughs> it's one of my favorite neighborhoods actually. I go I go out of my way to go to Alki Beach. Oh my gosh. So that's one of the things you should, you know, be thinking about as you get into real estate. You need to know every single neighborhood like the back of your hand. So learning West Seattle is gonna be a huge part of that. I love all of real estate, but there's a lot of challenges that you deal with. You know, everyone's emotions and personalities and life situations and one of the biggest challenges with real estate is learning to kind of let go that you can't control every single thing. We're on 
the West Seattle Water Taxi and this is one of the best views in the entire city from over here in West Seattle. In our first year together, I want you to name every one of those buildings. That's gonna be harder than learning all 50 states. <laughs> different neighborhoods and developments, it's important to know about different styles of houses. From high-rise condos to 100-year-old homes, we're gonna get into all of that. One popular style of home here in Seattle is the Tudor home. Tudors originated in England and became popular in America in the 1920s. Characteristics of a Tudor typically include a steeply pitched roof and an asymmetrical entrance. What really makes Tudors stand out is they have some swooping kind of architecture on the exterior and then also on the inside you'll see will have some nice archways. My first impression of Tudors is they are very homey, whimsical, and cozy. I'm excited yeah. I got to go in my first Tudor home today. That's right. Now, if you want to live downtown, Seattle has a ton of really cool high-rise condos. Today, we're going to check out one of Cyrus's listings in the newest condo downtown called Nexus. What makes this unit so special? So this unit is the best floor plan in the building, I think, which overlook the city and the lake and the mountains. Unobstructed views to the south and east. You have ult ultimate privacy. No one's looking in from any direction at all. Alright, so welcome to one of my currently pending listings. Mm -hmm. um, one bedrooms, one bath. It's in the Highlander 1960s build. And one of the few with a true sparkling pool. This is a pretty cool unit. I feel like around Seattle I've seen a lot of kind of condo units like this and they have these cool views with their older buildings and I've never been in one so I, I never knew what I'd really think. But actually being in it, it's quite nice and these views are amazing. And I, I love the kind of mid-century vibe it's got going on. I don't want to say the word vibe in my real estate career. I'm never saying that again. So when you first got started in real estate, after getting your license, like day one, what were the things that you did? Oh man, um, what didn't I do? <laughs> it might be the better question, but no, I open houses constantly. Okay. Yeah, educating yourself. So we talked about, you know, exploring the neighborhoods and whatnot. So doing as many open houses as I possibly could. I covered everyone's inspections. I got to sit through probably 60 inspections that year. There's a statistic out there that 80% of new real estate agents quit within the first year. People expect it to be fun and easy like it looks on TV. But what I've learned through Cyrus is there's so much more time, effort, and care that goes into being a great agent that people really don't see. I'm like super jazzed that, you know, I watch your blogs and vlogs and everything uh -huh. and that you are excited about real estate. You know, I've considered building out a team myself. You know, I have my transaction coordinator and I have another agent that is just joining me as well. And, you know, I'm thinking about expanding and whatnot. And, you know, if you're open to it, I would be happy to have you on my team. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that at all but I would be honored to join your team. So I'm really excited to announce that I'm joining the Cyrus Fiend team with Caldwell Banker Bain. What exactly does this mean? Basically, if you wanna work with me, you get the support of the whole team that I work with. So Cyrus and I are both working for you. This is going to be really exciting as Cyrus has so much knowledge and experience to help support me as I still get the hang of everything. In my experience with social media and filmmaking, we'll ensure that any sellers that we're representing that are listing their home are getting the best quality videos and most exposure they could possibly get from a real estate team in Seattle. I'm so excited for this new chapter in my life. And when I came to the decision that I want to become a real estate agent, I felt peace, happiness, and a drive that I hadn't felt since I started my YouTube channel 10 years ago. I think a lot of us just wanna feel like we're making a difference in life. And I can finally say, I feel that satisfaction with helping people in the process of finding a home. 
love the city of Seattle so much and I want to share that with you. If you're looking to buy a home here and you don't even know where to start at all, let's go through the neighborhoods together. Let's find out what you truly love. And if you're just a viewer not looking to buy a house in Seattle, I'm really excited to get to bring you guys along with the new content that I'm going to be creating for house tours and city guides and day in my life videos. And of course, if you are interested in buying in Seattle, go give myself and Cyrus a follow on Instagram. I'll have all of my information as well as Cyrus's information below. We would love to work with you. Thank you.